would have been like, oh mate. <laughs> What's going on, Comic Fam? Welcome to Have They Still Got It? We are here courtesy of Laureus and the man. Wait, who's behind me again? Oh, sorry. There we go. I'm here. I'm Chris. How are you, my friend? That is so Have They Still Got It? And today we have Jamie Redknapp. Jamie, come in. What's going on, Jamie? Creative, How we doing? a legendary oh, English midfielder. Brother, how, how are you? you? How are you good? doing? I'm really good. Looking forward to this. You know what you do, I don't know if I still got it though. We're gonna see. You we're know gonna what? See. We're gonna find out. You're a golden right. oldie. Or are you destined for the scrap heap? Because basically, if you are, you're jumping in this. I have to jump in my whip. Oh no! I got the new skirt. It's quite cool though. Are you gonna give me a little skirt? Yes. Skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. All right, uh, also, yeah. before we what start. What about the trainers? Oh, he's got off-white. Off basically, yeah. the new off-white style Virgil Abloh. Man's going to New Zealand Fashion Week. You don't know my thing. Before we start, though, Jamie, mm -hmm. can I just say, you're one of the nicest footballers we ever met. 2001 or 2000, you played for Spurs. We all went to the training ground yeah. as a treat because we've been good. Yeah. Bruv, you stayed behind and spoke to everyone. Uh, that should be that, right? But every footballer left. Nah, Teddy listen. Stroud left in his massive Ferrari. Nah. Robbie Keane was injured at the time. Was he? Robbie's a good boy. Yeah, yeah, right, listen, Robbie's. you know, it's what it is. You know, yeah. and I'm. Um, thank you, dog. I love my football. Please, the, the boys, yeah, they were so happy. Like literally, we met them. Very kind. Like, oh, we just spoke to Jamie and. Where you is know it? what? You used to work for the Spurs Youth Foundation. Sorry, boys. And now you're you're obviously a Laureus ambassador. Mm -hmm. Can you get, tell us a little bit about what you do for Laureus and how you find well, it? Andre and I are here today, uh, Shevchenko. So we do a little bit. Of, we play a lot of golf, but Laureus obviously do a lot of work at um, grassroots with golf and in, in, uh, getting people into sport and from obviously different backgrounds and stuff like that and it's, that's my passion as well because I was I was lucky as a kid that you know, I had my dad involved in football and it helped me so much but if you can just help other kids because you can go one way or another in life can't you, you can either go the wrong way yeah. or you can do something that's positive and a lot of the guys here we just try to be role models and help them out and, and get them doing something that's really active rather than messing around in the streets with the wrong people it's, it's easy to go down that road. Yeah. Oh that's good man it's very nice that obviously you've taken this to do this. That's no, great. Listen, playing time. I'm playing football. What would you want? I love it. Well, In the let's get stuck into yeah. the challenges. Big up, Laureus. Poet. All right, really? Let's see what, what Jamie, what's he got to do first? Well, the first challenge here as I go down this wonderful Kindle or iPad, we have got, wow, three penalties, bro. Get your Straight away. Penalties. Straight oh, away. Liverpool as well. Liverpool. Okay. Liverpool. Where am I going to put Forget this? The you see the Premier League and all these glossy pictures? Forget that. Take a look at this. That's a real, real football. Real. See, that's that's the sort of thing you can have. One of those, yeah. you know what I mean? That's but it, hopefully, that, that you reckon screams... this is why we'll never win a World Cup. Because when we go and play in the good pitches, we're not used to it. We need to be <laughs> used to this. <laughs> Line. Get on your line, son. Oh, no! Oh, he's a bit closer. He bounced over again. That's, That's how he came, though. Now I've got him. See, he doesn't. He thinks I'm going to go back the same way, but but I might reverse it. This is the problem. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three out of three. I'll take that. I'll take that. Bridge. I can't lie to you, bro. It's a four star. I know you're a little bit fancy. Oh. You did that on purpose for me, didn't you? You make me look good. Oh. You're have a little deal later. So frustrating, alright. We'll have a little deal later. You look really good there. A time where I feel like it was questionable. It was the Spice Boys in the white suits. Yeah, that was questionable. What was going on? Now nah, listen, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't our greatest look. <laughs> um, and every time I see it, and the worst thing was I, I put these like Ray Bans, they gave it Ray Bans gave us loads of glasses before and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna You're drop an influencer. You were yeah. influ before nah. influencers. I don't know about an influencer, mate. I look minging. <laughs> and uh, as soon as I've got them, I think that would be quite cool here. But the only thing was, you've got to win the game. If you lose, because oh. if we'd have won that game, those white suits would have been like those off-whites. We'd have all been talking about them. Uh. But unfortunately, we didn't win the game, and we got we got some stick. Oh, I remember. We you know what? As as obviously a Liverpool player and fan. You get stick. Yeah. If you don't, you know. Yeah. But that was a bad move, you know what? And I look back and I think, why didn't I was 21, I think, 21, 22. Someone should one of the experienced players maybe should have said, listen, they, that's not a look. Let's drop that white suit. But anyway. Alright, next challenge happens to be free kick. Alright, Jamie is good to go. Alright. You ready? Has Jamie still got it? Ah! Oh, no! Went a little bit too much whip on that. Jamie again! We start now. I believe you, my brother. I believe in you. The second free kick. This is top bins. Woo! 
Woo! Side netting and that. That'll do. Last one from Jamie for a little chat. Thank you so much, Vooj. Vooj, say something, big man. I'm Take trying, bro. I'm going to the same corner. I'm moving like the Greek economy. Ah, oh, wasn't the best, but it'll do. Two out of three, I'll take that. I don't remember this one, I'm not going to lie to you, but 95, Blackburn, last day of the season. Yeah. Scored a free kick. Yeah, uh, Yeah, it was a free kick, yeah. Uh, it was a weird day, because obviously, Fun. before the game, Blackburn just needs a better Man United's result. I... And my dad was the manager of West Ham, so it was quite a weird day, both of us been involved. And somehow West Ham got an amazing result against Man United, 1-1. But before the game, all Liverpool fans were saying to us, listen, you can't win, we can't have Man United winning the league. So it was a surreal atmosphere. Because every time you get in the ball, if you, you know, they didn't really want you to win, but of course they want you, want to, you to win. win. That's you weird. Know, Shearer scored, John Barnes scored a great goal, bent one in, and about two minutes to go, we got a free kick. And I stood over it thinking, I want to score, but I do, I really want to score. Now I bent it in. <laughs> Top mids. It was, a it was nice, past Tim Flowers, and then all of a sudden the crowd started to cheer. Was, so we realised then, in those days, no phones really, that you could have like, social yeah, yeah. media. Radio, all, isn't it? Exactly. Facts. There's one, there's a shot of a guy on the radio, and all the Blackburn fans were cheering, Liverpool fans were cheering, because obviously May United hadn't won at West Ham, oh. and then we got the result. So we beat Matt, so it was the perfect day. You know, so potentially, and I got a though, you could have oh, yeah. United the league. Yes. You would have been oh. yeah, That would have been horrible, wouldn't it? You know? That would have been horrible. But to be honest, the draw was no good. If May United would have won, the draw was no good for Blackburn, but it was one of the most amazing days. All right, well, Jamie's doing actually quite well so far. It doesn't seem like he's going to have to go home in a mobility scooter, okay. but we do have the crossfield pass. Three chances, play it to you, take okay. a touch if you need, get it through and uh, yeah, show us the That was my pass. thing, you know, I used to love the cross field passes. Even sometimes when it wasn't on, I just think, ping, you know, the short pass, the it was, but I think I have some of that, you know, I just cut across it and, but this pitch is not that conducive. It's not that right, yeah. Yeah. So this is a bit of a test. Okay. Play it in, is he going to get it through? First oh. attempt. Oh, oh, he slipped. But it'll do. He's got it. It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. It'll do. Wait, wait, they wait, all I'm count. Oh, they all count. <laughs> they all count. Amazing. Right, you know what? One. I don't think he's going to the scrappy. Oh, get me off that mud bit there. Yeah. Get him off the mud bit there. Okay. Oh, That's two out of two. That. Two, two, two out of two. two. Are we doing it again? Oh, go on. Nice. All right. Well, get three out of three. Three out of three. three out, Might right. go for a little side volley here. Might liven what? it up. Liven it up. Side volley. What, lift it up, team? No. No, no. we're all. Oh, he's missed it. Who got it. that? Ah! He's going for it. Magician team. All right. Take that, I'll take that two out of three. That is a man thing, though. Yeah. Talking about punditry, me and Vuj kind of want a job. Yeah. But we'll move that to the side for one sec. He supports Liverpool. He's uh -huh. told me from early they're going to win the league. Have you seen enough seen to it. suggest that could be the case? Oh, they can definitely do it. Absolutely. My only worry yeah. is that as it goes on, I was in a situation where we, like, I think this Liverpool side is the best for, since they last won it. I really do yes. believe that. Wow. But just once the pressure comes on, like City have done it, they've been through it. And just when it gets down to the last five, ten games, that's when everyone gets a little bit excited. And it's the same with having a Brendan. Do you remember? And then all of a sudden, oh. Stevie... Do you think we've learned from that? Do you think Liverpool have learned? Because you see City against um, it's Chelsea. Everybody was saying, you know, you know, I was going to stop them. Da, da, da. Liverpool are top. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So it's like, yeah. I mean, any, other, any other year, I think this Liverpool side wins it by it, yeah. ten points. But it's just City are so good, so and they're doing good. it without De Bruyne as well. Oh. Which, you know, oh. and like I know you did the thing with Bernardo Silva. He's just amazing, isn't he? He's, yeah. just, he's just different. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely nice boy. Team. He's just a different type. But they've got too many of them to players. Yeah. It's just like it's unfair. What about your team? Top four. Oh yeah, hundred percent. If you win, a, if you get a top four. I tell you what, that is almost the equivalent of winning a league this year for that guy. I'm Emory. telling you, because he's done. Uh, I never thought you'd get anywhere near it. But you're serious. I think you're looking good. This is why we're going to win the league. Everton. What happened? Divock Viznek, right? Oh, right. What was the keeper doing? City Liverpool. <laughs> City Liverpool. They missed a penalty last minute. Gabby yeah. Jesus. Uh, oh, Chelsea. Sturridge last minute. It's in, it's in the stars. I, in the I'm stars. a stars man. I know. Tiny well, I hope so. Be, do you know what? Not because it's like you know, it's your team. Mike. I think it'd be great because you've had a, a Leicester win. You've yeah, had obviously yeah. City, yeah. Chelsea, United. All the, all, but Liverpool haven't done it for a while, and yeah. it'll be great for the game. And that's not because of my my affiliation. No, I with them. agree with you. But I just think it's oh, nice to have different winners yeah. all the time. Exactly. It makes the league very very competitive. Absolutely. Even from an, an ignorant standpoint, you'd be like, do you know what? England looks like a good place to go. One of five teams can yeah. win the league. Apart from when, when you go to other countries, it's like two teams. So yeah. come on, Premier League. Best yes. league in the world. Exactly. Best Maradona league. behind the camera has consistently told us about this wonderful strike against <laughs> Belgium for England. Yeah, My mum used to ban me from watching TV sometimes when I was naughty, so I probably didn't get the opportunity to watch it. Talk us through this goal. It was a pure... I tell you what, I can remember it now. 
ball came into me yeah. and I taken it and I, I sort of popped one around the corner to Michael Owen and he sort of slipped and it kept then it I remember back it. to me. You didn't play at Wembley, where did you play? Uh, uh, Sunday. Stadium of Light. How do yeah, I remember it's that? Stadium of Darkness. I'm wishing it had been at Wembley, but as I popped, it, was it came back to me and I was tired. I don't know why I'm breathing out of my bum. And I've just gone, sod it, I'm gonna hit this. And I've hit this thing with a left foot and it's just gone, whoosh, it hit the crossbar, bounced in. It was mad. It was mad. Yeah, it was a beautiful strike. But you know, and I think, I think my left foot wasn't great. It was all right. But it, that was just one of those pure ones that every now and again that you hit. And just it was such a great... And we won 2-1 as well. And I, it's just to win a game for your country and score the winning goal. Like, amazing. Lovely feeling. Hi! Yeah. Well, can you, can you beat me on this pitch? I mean, it's not as great yeah. as the stadium like. Yeah. I mean, that would mean equally as much for me. Do you want to get over there? And I'll just lay it off I to just you. just like play into me and I'll take a touch and then hit it. In the off-white gang? Yes. Oh, sweet. Yes. Post. Nice. Oh, he's took it a bit wide, but it doesn't matter because it... Oh, oh no! Can we start that again? It's a tough one, it's the best. <laughs> Please. Boy, yes. Oh, the surface is amazing. Jamie! Oh, oh no! The hand. That was a baddie, but I'll take it. I'll take one out of one. It doesn't matter how they go in, cross the line, mate. Exactly. It's not my day. It's not oh. my day. I'm not having a nice. Oh, the bounce. Who had to? Come on! You could have had five goalkeepers. A baby mum and kids. You're never saving that. Don't get down. There's been better keepers than you who've been beat by them. All right, oh, all right. Come <laughs> on, last chance. Out of the feet. <laughs> yes! Oh! He's done so nutty. The best yes! man on television is Jamie Redknapp. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I know I'm not great, but you see it's that? Jamie Redknapp. That's man. class. Class never dies. You know what? Oh, my knee's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Hey, boys. Bro, you have to end I still want to go back here. In your scooter, to be honest. You're a pundit. Yeah. How are you finding out, by the way? Oh, I love it. I do, I love it. You know, it's difficult. My, my dad's obviously gone down the managerial route and things yeah. like that. And uh, he always says to me, oh, you know, you should, be, you should try it and coach. And I do love being around football. It's my life. But the closest thing to it, I suppose, is punditry. Yeah. And the management is like, Frank's done it. Obviously, my cousin's done it, doing a great job. Stevie Gerrard. And maybe one day, but I do enjoy being around football, you know, written right, I know you've done stuff with yeah. writers, you know, but I, I love working for Sky, yeah. you know, I love it. And I go to games, I never get bored of it. It's my passion, you know? Brilliant, brilliant. You're living the dream. Uh, your dad that you're saying, he's gone into celebrity, get me out of here. Yeah. Are you proud? How did you find it, watching it? Was it tough for you? Uh, it, was it was tough at the start, but I'm getting used to the whole Prince thing right now, the Prince of the Jungle, because that's, you know, obviously, because if he's the king, I've got to be the Prince, prince right? Yeah. That's and it feels that good, doesn't it? No, <laughs> no, joking aside, I was so proud of him. He, he did so well. He really, he said it was hard. Yeah. You know, a lot of boredom, no eating, he lost a stone in weight. Okay. And I think it's, do you know what it's nice to see? The people have seen my dad, because when you see him, as, if you're an Arsenal fan or a Portsmouth or a South, and you, and you don't like my dad for that, that time, I think people have seen a nice man, you know, he's got good values, he's, you know, he adores my mum, you know, he's just a great guy and, I, and yeah, he's funny. Oh, no. And I think people have loved it and all yeah. of a sudden everyone sort of appreciated what a nice guy he is. What I like about Harry Renouf as well is just the, the fact that he's now become an individual. He didn't go to social media and all of that, he went straight on television and he is so human. Yeah, Because I think raw, when, wasn't it? Yeah, raw. it was just so honest. I, re, I can't lie, I'm an Arsenal fan, I know, but lads, I do like Harry Renouf. Yeah. Listen, my dad's an Arsenal fan. What? Hey. Seriously, as a kid, my granddad and uh, used to take my dad to Arsenal, to Highbury, to watch games, and then he went there as a kid, but he ended up signing for West Ham, and obviously managed Tottenham. But That's why I liked it. I knew it. You That's why I liked it. Like like it's not a Harry Kane. Well, oh wait, that is the end. Uh, we do end every show with. Oh, uh, uh, you thank you. Game. Listen, man. Thank you for having me. I'm always, I love what you're doing. Keep it going. Thank you. Thank you. We do. Just oh, drop it on your shoulders. Jamie is a golden oldie. He's not going to the scrap heap. You have to say, have a nice. End of a have a nice. Have a nice. With a thumbs up. With a thumbs up. Have, have a nice. I might even throw him a little finger in as well. Thank you. Have a nice. Have a nice. Yeah, have a nice. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to get back on Matt. He's got to go back on me, Jamie. All right, Virg, um, you can just. You know, I mean, me and I'm Jamie. Follow you, but me and Jamie got matching jackets now. You know, we'll reminisce I feel like I'm going to get a job at Sky Sports. I think you might have to try this look, though. This look. It's a bit fresher. What do you think? I know you've got the style and that, you know what I mean? And you look at the off whites and all that. You've got all the style, trust me. Go on, Jamie, let's go. This is fresh. Do it. Lads, that was fun. Bye, bitch! What do you reckon? You want a couple of drinks, me and you? Yeah, let's have it. Let's yeah, go. Let's go. Let's go. Drink, go to the pub. Well, I'll take you a while to get there, though, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, tell me a little bit, you know. <laughs> retirement, how's it been? Retirement's good. Retirement's right. good. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. I'm thinking of making a comeback after that. You reckon a comeback? Yeah, exactly. Start your little YouTube channel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>